Bali is an enchanting island in the Indonesian province, noted for its rich artistic traditions and culture. It is located in the westernmost part of the Lesser Sunda Islands between Java and Lombok. Denpasar serves as the capital of this beautiful place. A considerable portion of the Bali island is mountainous. The highest point is the Mount Agung, or the Bali Peak. It is popularly known as the navel of the world. Having some 20,000 temples and shrines, Bali is also called the Island of Gods. One major reason why people get attracted to Bali is its culture. With diverse art forms like painting, sculpture, wood carving, handcrafts, and performing arts, the island has much to offer a visitor. The performing artists here often portray stories from Hindu epics like the Ramayana, but with a heavy Balinese influence. In addition to these, there are numerous places in the island that attract tourists. The center of wood carving Klungkong, the lively market of Jinyar, the fine arts museum of Yubud and the loving beach are some of the important places here. Bali is also part of the coral triangle that has a high biodiversity of marine species. The first Hindus arrived in Bali as early as 100 BC, but the unique culture which is so apparent to any current day visitor to Bali hails largely from neighboring Java, with some influence from Bali's distant animist past. The Javanese Majapahit Empire's rule over Bali became complete in the 14th century when Gajah Mata, prime minister of the Javanese king, defeated the Balinese king at Bijalo. The rule of the Majapahit Empire resulted in the initial influx of Javanese culture, most of all in architecture, dance, painting, sculpture, and the Wayang puppet theatre. All of this is still very apparent today. The very few Balinese who did not adopt this Javanese Hindu culture are known today as the Bali Aga, original Balinese, and still live in the isolated villages of Tenganan near Kandadesa and Trunyan on the remote eastern shore of Lake Bader at Kintamani. With the rise of Islam in the Indonesian archipelago, the Majapahit Empire in Java fell and Bali became independent near the turn of the 16th century. The Javanese aristocracy found refuge in Bali, bringing an even stronger influx of Hindu arts, literature, and religion. Divided among a number of ruling Rajas, occasionally battling off invaders from now Islamic Java to the west and making forays to conquer Lombok to the east, the north of the island was finally captured by the Dutch colonialists in a series of brutal wars from 1846 to 1849. Southern Bali was not conquered until 1906, and Eastern Bali did not surrender until 1908. In both 1906 and 1908, many Balinese chose death over disgrace and fought en messe until the bitter end, often walking straight into Dutch cannons and gunfire. This manner of suicidal fighting to the death is known as Puputin. Victory was bittersweet as the images of the Puputin highly tarnished the Dutch in the international community. Perhaps to make up for this, the Dutch did not make the Balinese enter into a forced cultivation system, as had happened in Java, and instead tried to promote Balinese culture through their policy of Belisering or the Balinization of Bali. Bali became part of the newly independent Republic of Indonesia in 1945. In 1965, the military seized power in a CIA-backed coup, and state-sanctioned anti-communist violence spread across Indonesia. In Bali, it has been said that the rivers ran red with the reprisal killings of suspected communists most estimates of the death toll say 80,000, or about 5% of the population of Bali at the time. 
The current chapter in Bali's history began in the 70s when intrepid hippies and surfers discovered Bali's beaches and waves, and tourism soon became the biggest income earner. Despite the shocks of the terrorist attacks in 2002 and 2005, the magical island continues to draw crowds, and Bali's culture remains as spectacular as ever.